And so here I'm sitting with a new pair of Sennheiser, and these are the uh, 430i. And so they're made for, for iPhone and iPad. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. So it's my vacation and I'm going on a little trip to visit my mom, my dad, my brother and my lovely niece. And the thing is, even though I tend to pack just a little amount of clothes, a, a, amount sounds weird. The thing is, I usually like leaving space over for music gear. And this is the stuff that I can consider, that I am considering bringing with me. Only I can't bring all of it because because my space is even more limited this time on this trip because I'm bringing gifts to my family. Some sauce for my brother and, 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 and my father because they love these sauces and they can't get them that easily down where they live in my hometown. But here in Stockholm, I just know exactly what store to go to and they're always there on the shelf. So I'm bringing lots of that stuff. I'm bringing some honey and some other stuff for my mother. And I've also got some gifts for my niece, but I'm not gonna spoil that because she might be watching. Uh, uh, so I've got basically like a 40 times 20 centimeter space. It, it's not that much. It's it's really limited. Um, I know I need to bring my iPad. This is the iPad Pro, but I might just end up bringing my iPad mini 2. Um, so what you see here is not really what I'm going to bring. I, I can't bring all of this with me. It's just too much. So the first thing that needs to go is the Novation Audio Hub. This is my most favorite audio interface because it does so much for me and I'm using it all the time. Problem is, it's kind of wall powered. Now, th there is there is cases where you can actually power this through the iPad itself, but if you want to stick other things on there, you know, in the USB uh, ports, then no, no, it won't be able to do that because the iPad can't handle the amount of, of uh, amps you need to actually do that. So this one is going to go away instantly. Right, so the Novation Audio Hub is gone. Uh, I, I hate to leave you here, buddy, but... Yeah, I, I, I have to. Now, the thing is, I've traveled with pocket operators before, and so this is the metal series. This is the speak right here, the tonic right here, and the knockout. And these are the best, in my opinion, the most fun, most usable pocket operators that Teenage Engineering has ever made. I've got videos on them on my channel. I've got a video uh, on the um, Audio Hub 2, a really great review going in depth into all of these metal series pocket operators and also the Audio Hub. Um, so if you want to go watch that, I can link uh, to the videos in the descriptions, but I think I'm going to leave them at home. I've been working a lot with them and yeah, I, d I don't want to pack these right now. I don't really have to. I think I can stay away from them for a while. I, I do, I do know that I am going to miss the speak because, oh, I love voice synthesis, but yeah, you're going to have to go buddy. And you too, uh, Mr. Tonic. And you too, Mrs. Knockout. Oh, I love you. I, I just love this thing. This is amazing. It's an amazing pocket operator. But they're gonna have to go. So what else uh, do I have to leave at home? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the uh, the RK004. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, on my thumb, uh, not my thumbnail, but in my intro, there's a lot of gear and stuff. And this thing is down in the far right corner. And people keep asking me, what is that audio hub? And I'll just tell you, it's the RetroKids RK004 uh, uh, MIDI uh, sync, pulse sync, uh, USB hub. It's basically a syncing hub and a MIDI splitter and a MIDI merger. It does all of that. It's really cool, made by RetroKids. Um, and I'll leave a link down in the description to the site where they sell these and also uh, to my video on the RK004. But I'll just say this, uh, the guy over at Grit uh, or Garrett, his name is Garrett. Garrett has made a 005 version and that one works as a USB compliant host. So uh, you can use that directly with an iPad or a Mac or a PC. This one uh, can't do that uh, out of the box. You, ca you have to mod it with a retro, uh, sorry, with a Pi, with a uh, Raspberry Pi computer. So yeah, just have a look at the 005 because I think a lot of people, especially ones who like syncing stuff and, you know, doing stuff like this, uh, they'll be interested in both the RK004 and the 005. So these are, this one is gonna go. Here we have the RK003 and I use this to sync pocket operators. It's basically a splitter. So it will just split a signal. Um, so if I wanna 
sync several pocket operators from one pocket operator or from the Volca. I'll just use this thing and pull the Volca in here so the sync goes out from here into here and then out to several pocket operators. Uh, but I don't think I need that now because I'm leaving the pocket operators at home. Now, what else? I do love having the Nano Key Studio with me, but I want to travel really, really light. So I think I'm gonna leave the MIDI controller at home. I can pretty much use the iPad as it is. I don't really need this. So yeah, this one is gonna go home and um, man, I love using this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave it here, but I'm, okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Where you go. Now, there is one more thing that I know I'm gonna leave at home. And it's this because it takes batteries or an adapter. And I already have one. Th I, I, I'm going to bring one of these synthesizers and they take batteries too. And I don't want to have a load of extra batteries with me. So yeah, the K oscillator is going to stay home. You're going to go, buddy. Bye-bye. Okay, so let's see what we have left. A bunch of cables and stuff. Okay, so here we have the USB battery is definitely staying. So you're gonna go there. Now, between the Volca and the Uno, I'm gonna go with the Uno. So it's not because I like the Uno more than the Volca or, or vice versa, nothing like that. Um, I love both of them. They have very unique sounds and I, I, you can't really compare the sounds of these two uh, with one another because they sound completely different. Uh, the, the Volca has that typical MS-20 filter sound to it. And the Uno, well, since it's IK Media, Multimedia's first synth, it's got that typical IK Multimedia uh, sound. <laughs> That's basically what I can say about it. And, um, and since I just got this, I think I want to explore this more. And this one takes four batteries to run, and this one takes six batteries to run. So yeah, Volca's gonna stay home, but I am gonna miss you, buddy. So I'm bringing, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the Unosynth with me. Now, since I'm bringing the Unosynth and I might wanna record it, I need an interface, but since I'm leaving the audio hub at home, I'm gonna keep this thing because this, this just works. And so if I am, um, it's, by the way, it's the Behringer uh, UCA202. I've got a great crazy review of this thing. So I'll, I'll link to that down in the description too. I'm keeping that and I need a cable for that. I'll take one of these Klotz cables. The Klotz cables are really, really, really well built. Uh, I love them um, and they work well for me. And I'm gonna buy some more Klotz cables. I, I love these cables. They're quite affordable actually, and they're doing a great job. Their gold plate and everything, yeah, it's 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 a really good cable. I think they're German-made cables. Um, and since I have this, I need a USB to MIDI connector. Uh, sorry, not a U. I need the USB uh, USB to Lightning connector, and so it's gonna be this one. So that's gonna stay. I don't need an extra. I'm not gonna bring the uh, the Eric Mick cast because I'm not gonna do any interviews. I think uh, I've already got the USB battery. Now I might, I might, I, oh, that's right. This thing, I don't need this since I'm not bringing the uh, Nano Control Studio by Korg. So that's gonna go away, bye buddy. Now, here's one thing. Do I wanna sync this or not? Cause if I wanna sync this and I wanna use MIDI, I mean, I just built this uh, uh, MIDI uh, editor so that I can basically control everything inside the Unosynth. Uh, the cool thing is that uh, the template has been blogged about on Discord. Discord is awesome. It's, um, it's, it's one of the most popular uh, iOS musicians blogs out there. So if you haven't, if you're into iOS music and mo mobile music making, then you should definitely check out Discord. I'll leave a link to, well, I always have links to, to Discord down there in the description. But it's also been blogged about by Syntopia, which is awesome. And also um, from uh, Sonic State has also blogged about it, uh, the template I made for controlling this. Um, basically a template I made in an app called MIDI Designer Pro. And so if I want to use that template, I'm going to have to use some kind of a MIDI thing. Now I have two options. Uh, the Unosynth can take MIDI through um, USB, but the Uno will only receive MIDI through USB. It won't send it out. So if I want to send out MIDI from Uno, I have to go through the DIN 5 MIDI ports. And if I want to do that, I have to bring the dongles. Okay, so I'm just going to go get them. I've, I've got them here on the shelf somewhere. I think, yeah, I, I found them. 
So here are the MIDI dongles you need. Um, basically, they got like 2.5 uh, connectors here. They look like 3.5, but they're actually 2.5. And so you need these um, to connect that to the Uno. And then I need a MIDI, uh, some kind of a MIDI interface. And I've been using the iRig MIDI 2. Um, but this, this is the thing. If I want to go this route, then I'm going to have to bring a USB hub because I only have one connection here and I want to travel light and I want to be able to record my sounds and sync it at the same time. So I'm going to have to go with USB. So I'm going to remove these and I'm going to review, remove the iRig MIDI 2. I've got a review about this one too if you want to know what this is and how this works. It's made by IK Multimedia too, the same company who makes the Uno. So I'm going to remove these and where you go. Yeah, okay, it's getting light here. It's getting really light, really light. I like that. So I do need um, I do need a uh, cable for charging the iPad at the same time I'm using this setup. Um, and of course, I'm gonna bring my anchor cable that has been working really well uh, so far. I love this thing. Um, so I'm gonna use that. The anchor cable is gonna follow. And then we have the iPad. And then I need one more thing. I just need to check this. So I'm gonna put the uh, UCA down in there, the uh, USB to lightning connector, the uh, cable for connecting it to the audio. And oh, I almost forgot. If I wanna, if I wanna sync this to, to, to USB, oh crap. I still need a USB hub. I still need a USB hub because if I, oh, I didn't, Oh, of course, because this one is going to take up the USB port. See, this is one of the problems with being a iOS musician, the, the lack of ports. And Apple just keeps removing ports without replacing them with anything. So yeah, thanks for that, Apple, really well. By the way, I have a great track that I made with a cool little music video made on, on the iPad. Uh, you might want to check out. Yeah, it's got some great animations in there. Mm. Yeah. Apple. So, um, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna run this unsynced. And I'm just simply gonna make the sounds using this thing and record it directly into the iPad through the USB to, to the, the, the USA 202 and just sequence, uh, just record it into Cubases and sequence it from there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this um, as it is without syncing it and I'm just gonna sample it into Cube, uh, Cubases here on the iPad. And in if I do that, then I have everything I need right here. I don't need anything more. Um, problem is if I run out, run out of batteries. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to go and get some more batteries. So yeah. All right, I couldn't find my rechargeable ones. So I'm using uh, the Duracell batteries, which are in my opinion, the best ones. Uh, they're really, they're really good. So Duracell batteries it is. I've already got four new ones in there and now I'm bringing four more with me. And there's only one thing more I need. Only one thing more I need. And uh, that's headphones. But these ones, they're so broken now. Look at this, they look, oh my God, they don't look, they look, they look disgusting. I've, I've had these for, what is it, like 10 years, I think, and they've served me so well. These are the uh, Audio Technica, um, I can't remember the model name again. They're, everyone knows these, the Audio Technica ATH-M50. And I've had them for 10 years, they've served me well, but now they're really broken. I've played them beyond death. So the elements inside don't sound that good anymore really power horses. I do recommend these to anyone who, who, who wants headphones. I've got more headphones, but they're all broken by now. Uh, I've got those pairs where only one ear is working. But the thing is, I was lucky the other day and I received a gift from uh, two really good friends of mine. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go get that. And so here I'm sitting with a new pair of Sennheiser and these are the uh, 430i. 
And so they're made for, for iPhone and iPad, basically. They've got a microphone and the uh, volume buttons right here. And when listening through these, they were really close to the sound I had in the Audio-Technica ones. So it's only going to take me about a couple of months, maybe two or three months, to actually listen, uh, listen, listen in on them. I don't know how to say that in English, but you basically have to adjust your ears to a new pair of headphones or a new pair of speakers before you can properly mix through them. And these ones, they already sound really close to what I already have. They're a bit sharper in the uh, mid-range around the voice area but I can adjust to that quite easily. So in a couple of months only, uh, I'm going to be so used to these and I'm so happy. So thank you. Thank you guys for sending these to me. Uh, I love you and uh, they sound really great. And I, anyone who is thinking of getting a couple of headphones, the Sennheiser um, 430i's, they do sound really, really good. Yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Um, what are you bringing on your uh, vacation trips uh, this summer? I mean, the summer is almost ended. Uh, maybe you had a trip. Maybe you brought a lot of stuff. Maybe you can tell us down in the comment section what you brought. Don't just list uh, stuff that you brought. Just explain why you brought them and, and why you didn't bring some other stuff. Everyone has opinions, but the reasoning behind the opinions are always the most in interesting bits uh, about opinions. I, I made that sound weird. So I've got a Patreon if you want to support me in that way. Got a PayPal, I got a Bandcamp. Uh, check out those places if you want. Uh, press the thumbs up and don't forget to press in the little, 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 the little bell thing if you subscribe because that way you'll always get notified if um, um, I, whenever I upload videos. So as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> Bye-bye.